All right, guys, so we are back with Marve. Do you guys, and this is your sister and mother. Do you guys want to introduce yourselves? I'm Nayi Laraniu, and her sister. Hi, guys. I'm All right, so our goal, we were just here the other day, was to make your life happier and easier. And uh, we were able to get you a karaoke machine and some clothes and some different things. Uh, so far, how, how was he last night singing? Were you able to sing some more songs? Yeah? <laughs> so you can just kind of see the difference. She's more smiley now. We are actually on our way to the hospital. We want to get this going as soon as we could. And this is a big thank you from uh, my subscribers. Some very nice, generous people. <laughs> How does it feel that so many people care about you and just want you to be happy? It's a pretty cool feeling. It's a 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 cool feeling. It's <laughs> All right, so uh, it is kind of later in the day. It's been raining a lot, you know, in the Philippines. But um, we decided we're going to try our luck at Balamban and just see, you know, like a general, because, you know, with her, she was vomiting blood before, so we kind of do want to do a whole body test. And then also, you know, with her feet and her arms. And yesterday we mentioned... <laughs> <laughs> Last time we mentioned um, when we showed the uh, Marfei's foot, but it also, it also affects your arm as well, right? Are you able to extend it all the way? So as you can see, uh, she can't go all the way. And is it kind of, she mentioned that it's a little weaker? Yeah. So um, we're just praying that, you know, the doctors can do something, but, you know, we got to start somewhere. So I think we're going to just head out and go to Balamban Hospital and uh, see what we can do there. So thank you guys so much. You know, we can't say thank you guys enough. Thank you, everyone, for helping my, my sister. We're really making a difference, guys. Thank you guys so much. So we're going to get going before the rain comes, and then yes. we'll see you guys at the hospital, maybe. All right. Bye-bye. Yes. Bye-bye. All right. Here's some behind the scenes, guys. So the three are going to take the bus. I'm going to take my motorbike. I'm not sure exactly how long. It says 45 minutes to an hour to get there. So we'll probably see you guys once we get to the hospital. There's some nice views along the way. In previous videos, Richie and I actually stopped here. It was around like Christmas time, I think. We gave a whole bunch of Christmas gifts to a whole bunch of youngsters right around this area. Alright guys, so I just made it to the hospital. Here's my surroundings. The girl shouldn't be too far behind me. So I'm just going to sit here and wait. So far, it has nice weather. Earlier this morning or earlier uh, today, it was pouring down rain. So I really hope it doesn't rain on the way home. But so far, so good. So they should be here any minute. Girls just arrived. All right, number two of transportation. Thank you, sir. Made it to the hospital. So I've never been here before. I'm not sure how long the wait will be, but we'll find out. Eileen to help me with an update. So the first doctor just came and looked after Mary Faye. Yeah. And um, we, I, I mentioned the polio. They, they're not able to determine if, that, if she had polio or not yet until they do more tests. But they said we'll probably need to see a specialist. Oh, she's need a specialist. So she'll we'll probably need an MRI? MRI or procedure. Yeah, we need to figure out where the bleeding is coming from because the most recent was in June. She was June. bleeding, her vomit. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. 
How often does she bleed from it, uh, blood? Many. Many? Many, many blood like, to blood. Well, like like to five times a year? Uh, for, more? Uh, I think she said lots of blood though when she does do it. Now, I was talking to Eileen and she says that uh, Maria Faye, she prays almost every night yes. to find a specialist to figure out what's the matter with her. Yes. So that's like a nightly thing that she prays for. Alright, so they did prescribe some medication. I think it's just for pain in her stomach. But uh, it does look like we're going to have to see probably three different specialists. Um, one for her nerves. But one doctor said they think it might be like the nerves and muscular system. And then one for the, you know, her bones. And then one more. Well, anyway, we'll have to do all that in Cebu City. So I'm going to get some this medication for now. And then we'll have to schedule an appointment to get an MRI and the, special, and the rest of the stuff in Cebu City. But so far, so good. All right, we're getting some snacks, some oranges, apples, and some mango. Is that indeed mango? Mango, great mango. Salama, thank you very much. Thank you. So this is like right outside the hospital. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so it looks like we might be here a little bit longer. It's starting to get dark, so we're gonna get some snacks. At least it looks like this should be open most of the night. The hospital's open all night, so at least we'll have some snacks for later. All right, guys, so it was a long day today. Unfortunately, we weren't able to see the second doctor. Um, he was busy with, I think, uh, giving uh, a, lot of, a lot of ladies come in day with pregnancies, so I think he was busy with that. So anyway, we didn't get to see the second doctor. He was like the, um, the senior of the hospital, but we did talk to the junior and she gave us some good advice. Um, there's like, a, she, we definitely need to see a specialist and there's lots of different specialists, especially in her condition. There's the bone, like orthopedic, and then uh, stomach, like gastro with the bleeding and then uh, like nerves and muscle, the neurologist. So, but they said to uh, start with the, the neurologist, neurologist. Neurologist. <laughs> <Yeah>. Neurologist. <laughs> Here's our tongue twisters of the day. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set to go as soon as we can. Um, we're picking out the date to go, and then we're gonna go and get out of this guy's way. But anyway, that's kind of how the day went. Uh, are you feeling tired? Yeah. Oh yeah. Today was a very, today was a very long day. So it was too bad that we didn't get to see the senior doctor. But I, I think he just would have said he would have recommended us to go to Cebu City because yes, there's there wasn't much you can do here. There's no. Uh, specialists here so all the specialists are in Cebu City and then they get the MRI I think she'll, she'll need one of those that's in Cebu City but this is a good start I'm glad we came here to kind of because they don't really know what's going on either no one really had an idea but they said um what's one thing that she was tested for and it was negative what what, what was she tested negative for Negative, negative for that. Okay. And then, did they, did they say anything about polio? No. They they said they weren't able to test for polio yet. Uh, yes. We have to wait till we get um, um, some blood work done. I think. See the muscles. The muscles. The muscles. Yeah. So, so we do have a lot more testing to do. But um, hopefully in Cebu City we can figure out a lot of things. Um, but we're going to start with the neurologist and go from there. Yes. Alright? So from here on out, your life is going to get easier hopefully, okay? Yes. Alright. Are you happy? Yeah, I'm happy. Alright. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys very much. We, uh, this is... This is pretty cool. She's definitely a lot happier and hopefully, hopefully. yeah, we're yes. praying that a doctor can figure something out. Um, yes. Well, from here, we do have a journey to go back home. So we're going to catch a bus and then get back. And then very yes. soon we're going to go to bus. Cebu City and go from there. So hopefully you guys are having a good night and we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. See you next time. <laughs> All right, hey guys. So 
I didn't film too much today, and what I did was kind of sporadic and a little crazy. But uh, we did make it to the hospital. Um, you know, we just went on a whim. We didn't really make an, make an appointment or anything. So uh, when we first got there, they said no, they couldn't, they wouldn't see us. And then, um, you know, and then we we said, well, we'll go to the emergency room. So uh, we did, we ended up going there, which is, you know, pretty much in the same building, but just a different area. So we went to the emergency room, um, you know, we checked in. It was a long day, but, um, you know, they, they're very good, uh, very good and patient there. They, uh, very nice people in Balamban. So um, the junior talked to us. Um, and then she, we actually uh, were supposed to talk to the senior, but it got really busy and um, we ended up not being able to talk to him. So he was kind of like the specialist there of like the general or whatever. But it wasn't like a total waste, I guess. Um, it got us going, you know. So uh, the next thing is to go to Cebu City because, um, you know, with, uh, her condition, it's like a stomach. So we have to see like a gastroology, you know, I'm, I don't know all the technical terms. Was so like her stomach, then her nerves and muscles, which is like the neural, and then also like with the bones. So they said to start with the neural. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to go from there. We're going to go to Cebu City, and then we'll probably eventually get an MRI and all that stuff to really figure out what's going on. Uh, even the junior looked at her and she didn't really know what was really going on. So, I don't know, we're still in good spirits so, though. Um, uh, they were all happy today just to kind of get going as well. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have any other questions, I think that's about it. It was a long day on the way home. I got some barbecue. I just talked to the family, they made it home. Um, luckily it didn't rain. It actually sprinkled a little bit with my bike and I was almost going to stop and put my rain jacket on, but ended up stopping and I made it the rest of the way home just fine. So, so yeah, I just got back. Uh, everything's good. So thank you again very much. Everyone's helping out with this. This is so cool. Um, hopefully the doctors can figure out something. Ah, uh, man, it's just, I really pray that, you know, you know, it's just such a young age to be able to, um, you know, I talked to her, talked with the family and her, and, you know, uh, we didn't record every conversation, but just from them talking, you know, just imagine being a young person, you know, seeing your friends be able to play sports and, you know, she, you know, sometimes cry and, you know, just from in pain. She said sometimes if she does skirt or uh, like play activities or something like that, she would vomit. It's not always blood. She doesn't vomit blood all the time, all the time. But uh, when she does like run or do, or she doesn't really run, but like when she does activities, um, where it's a little bit too much, she does vomit. So we really do need to figure out something what's wrong with her stomach. And um, yeah, so hopefully, hopefully the doctor can do something. So yeah, again, thank you guys very much. Uh, I just want to say goodbye. Um, made it home. The family made it home. And then the next, uh, very soon, we're going to go to Cebu City and hopefully we can figure out some more stuff. So uh, yeah, so I guess that's it. I'm going to eat some dinner. And uh, we'll see you guys next video.